Hello everybody and welcome to another review. You may hear I'm a bit sick. So yeah, I don't feel all that well, but it's just a small cold. But today we'll be taking a closer look at the General Grievous. Um, I don't know what you would call this. It's, the, it's from the animated or supposed to represent the animated series sort of Clone Wars episodes that we got and so General Grievous here is from that show and I I mean I like General Grievous in general and he was very badass in that animated um, little show but yeah here I have him I got him on eBay for five dollars ish which i don't know if that's 20 or 25 i don't remember very well so yeah um here we have the back side of it we have just a small sort of picture drawing of him there and then we have a read up on the clone wars it talks about the animation down here pretty interesting we have the whole timeline of when the movies were released and here it shows you that this was released around 2003 and 2005 so 50 looks film yeah pretty cool packaging i like the front pretty well made you have like the side of a trooper going so you have the fin as many um fans call it uh and then clone wars here at the side but other than that, you just get a cool General Grievous art there and his name. But without further ado, let's crack him open. Now, I'm probably gonna anger a bunch of people that aren't inbox collectors with this, but I don't really care. There we go. He is now free. So we also get the usual legal legally stuff but you also get this separate piece so i don't know you can still use this as some sort of display somewhere somehow i don't know just an idea you saw you also have the exploding background so i guess you should also use that for something but i tore mine so it's not as clean looking but those are options all right so here we have pretty much his accessories that he comes with uh, with the added cape since it is removable um the cape it's just very plain not, not much going on i know the original general grievous um had a more intricate design and more stitching overall but this one's just plain and white which is i mean what we saw in the show it just sort of load with the air and all that stuff so there's that we then have his four lightsabers two blue and two green i think the one i really like is this one i like the the hilt i guess you you call it in the star wars i'm not sure but yeah, they all have the translucent blades um not much detailing on the hilts other than the silver paint so there's that and the two green ones here very cool i'm sure some customizers have gone in there and painted these up but i don't know who these lightsabers belong to um i don't think it's ever explained who or which jedi general grievous killed to get these lightsabers but he has accumulated his fair share of lightsabers and in terms of the figure it is a bit wonky seeing it's a droid and especially with the arms it starts to get a bit tricky at least for me I'm not a big fan of the way they designed this um, but I guess it's the only way they could have designed it but this um, what is it his left arms don't really plug in or, or don't, don't line up so the articulation is misaligned so I guess it's just better to have them separate in this case and I mean that's how I'll probably display them with the four arms four lightsabers um, displayed but 
yeah the articulation is very very odd in the arms department but other than that the arms have i mean the arms the legs have pretty decent articulation you have waist and everything so yeah i mean speaking of articulation i might as well show you and look up about that much down pretty well there's like a ball joint um at the bottom of the head there and at the top over here so yeah you can individually move his head around if you want to or just the entirety of his head neck uh waist swivel here pretty good um these parts are kind of soft so they get out of the way he doesn't really crunch forward or back he does kick pretty well i mean he kind of has to but that's impressive um back yeah you can get him to kick back kind of odd and then you do have double jointed um knees i guess you can call it knees and then yeah they go all the way up you get this weird sort of ankle here or something kind of anatomy here and then both of the feet have hinges so it, it has no pivot but it does swivel and you also get the legs on sort of ball joints so they like rotate in and out so that's pretty neat now the arms i think it's better if i get a closer look but you have a ball joint i think on this other inside here you get a swivel i'm trying to see if i can make that move it doesn't seem like it wants to move well kind of on this side so you ideally want it to move rotate in that fashion i think this side is just a bit too tight um then you have two hinges for each of the arms so right there and right over here so you know you can hinge this one up and keep this one down here it's just there's not a lot of room between them to really move them and you know get this out of the way from this other one so it looks it looks odd and it's just overall odd to move around you do get a swivel um here um it goes into the here so you just get the swivel there you get another hinge here for the elbow very nice i mean more than 90 degrees and then you get another swivel here sort of at the forearm and no wrist anything for his arms because of this weird mechanism or system they use to connect both hands or arms so yeah that's how they kind of move with the two arms connected it's it doesn't really work too well and they really don't do a good job of sticking together anyway so i will be displaying them with the four arms for a lightsaber look in terms of detail um i mean there's some sculpt going on but i don't think there's anything too crazy in terms of paint other than the face the face is looking pretty pretty cool so that's about it that's about the only paint you get you get like scuff battle damage on his chest plate there and on his legs but other than that no paint or anything and you just get all the white and blue um with this guy another piece of articulation i found is that each of these hands or arms are on separate ball joints from each other so i guess that helps a bit getting them out of the way of each other but they're still too close together i wish there was more room to sort of separate them you know that kind of way but yeah it does kind of help get things out of the way so here we have um um in a pose i mean i tried my best but his arms are very wonky or very hard to deal with so 
I don't think I'll be getting too many um, poses or anything of that sort with this guy. I mean, I'll probably just get him into a pose I like and never touch him again. But he does look cool and I'm sure he would look cool with the rest of the collection. Um, but yeah, I kind of am disappointed with his arm articulation. Um, like I said, he is one of my favorite characters. I think he looks cool. And, you know, he was a very a cool badass um, during that animated show. It's a shame that the other Clone Wars sort of showed him as a coward. But hey, that's just Star Wars. They, they like to change things up. But anyway, that's going to do it for my review. He's not a bad figure. It is a pretty plain figure with the colorings and all that stuff. But... There is a presence to him, and uh, I mean, that's all I want is for him to be seen on the shelf and exert this presence of, of um, I don't know, fear or something. I don't know. Um, I will say the only thing that bumps me out is like the quality of plastic. At uh, some places, it feels very, very flimsy. For example, his head fins there whatever you want to call those, they feel very flimsy. Um, the overall joints in the arms also feel flimsy, you know, if you're trying to swivel it, you might fear it might break. Um, but yeah, that, that's my only disappointment with that. Um, but yeah, that being said, review is over. Um, trying to get back into the swing of things, uh, general life schedules and stuff. And yeah, that's going to do it for now. I'll see you guys in a future episode or video, not episodes.